A grandmother had an unpleasant experience while visiting Yellowstone National Park in Idaho, United States. A statement from Yellowstone National Park officials confirmed the incident occurred on June 25 near the Bridge Bay campsite in northwest Wyoming. The 72-year-old grandmother is known to have repeatedly tried to approach the wild bison to take photos. Before being attacked, the grandmother was only three meters away from the bison. Forest rangers who received an emergency call immediately rushed to the location and found the victim suffered injuries from the bison attack. The grandmother's life was saved after receiving intensive care at the Eastern Idaho Regional Medical Center. The incident was caused by the bison feeling threatened after the victim was repeatedly approached up to a distance of 10 feet or 3 meters. Bison are wild animals that respond to threats by exhibiting aggressive behavior such as pawing at the ground, grunting, shaking their heads, screaming, and lifting their tails. If all that doesn't create a threat in which case someone moves away, the bison in danger might attack. To be safe around bison, stay at least 25 yards or 23 meters away, move away immediately if they come near, and avoid or seek shelter if they attack. A day after the national park reopened amid the COVID-19 pandemic, a woman also experienced a similar incident. The attack incident, said the park manager, was proof that Yellowstone was a wilderness. In each area, there are actually signs that warn them not to get too close to wild animals. Visitors are asked to maintain a minimum distance of 22 meters from large wild animals such as bison, elk, bighorn deer, deer, moose, and coyotes. If visitors are in a bear and wolf area, they must be in a vehicle in at least 100 yards, 91.4 meters, apart. The largest terrestrial animals in North America, bison are characterized by a hump over the front shoulders and slimmer hindquarters. Both male and female bison have a single set of short, sharply pointed, hollow horns that curve outward and up from the sides of the massive head. The head, neck, forelegs, and front parts of the body have a thick coat of long dark hair. The adult bull adds to this thick coat with a black beard about one foot long, the rear part of the body is covered with much shorter hair. The shaggy head is the most heavily insulated part of their body, which has adapted as such to withstand blizzards as the animal stands facing into the wind. Heavy coats are shed in the spring as the animals roll to loosen the hair which falls off in gobs. A mature bull can reach 5, 5 to 6, 5 feet 1, 9 meters high at the hump and 9 to 12, 5 feet 2, 7 to 3, 8 meters in length. Females are normally smaller, at 7 to 10 feet in length 2, 2 to 3, 2 meters and 5 feet high at the hump 1, 5 meters. Bison can weigh 1,800 to 2,400 pounds 816 to 1,088 kilograms. At one time, bison were widespread from Alaska to northern Mexico, but the current range occupied by conservation herds has diminished to 1% of its original status. Today herds can be found in parts of Alberta, British Columbia, Manitoba, Northwest Territories, Ontario and Saskatchewan in Canada, as well as Arizona, California, Idaho, Montana, South Dakota, Utah, Alaska and possibly Texas in the United States, modern conservation herds are substantially fragmented. Originally bison were found primarily in the grasslands and prairie of North America. Today bison distribution is greatly limited due to population decline and their movements are greatly regulated, within the national parks bison are found at all elevations. Bison communicate through grunts to maintain contact with each other, and will snort to warn intruders. Male bison display their fitness by charging and butting heads with other bulls, they also bellow hoarsely, lower their heads, and paw the earth defiantly but they rarely fight to the death. They have an excellent sense of hearing and smell, but cannot see very well so an entire herd can stampede if it is startled. 